What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Comic Joint. We are a part of the lovely BS Podcast Network. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Later. <laughs> all right what's up everybody this is haven and i'm here with my lovely host jason oh, <laughs> and this is a new segment that we have now and it is called whispers world here on this segment we're going to be talking about conspiracy theories from aliens to celebrity deaths to maybe even myself Ooh. You never know. <laughs> I like that. So, you never know. Mr. Jason, what is the conspiracy today? Well, you see, in a lot of shows and TV shows and movies that we've talked about uh, privately, about we want, we're going to jump into some deep, hardcore stuff, but I think we should knock out the biggest conspiracy theories first. Which is? I'm thinking aliens, as Tommy mm. Pickle would say. Aliens. Aliens. Is it is it yeah. alien or aliens? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hmm, I don't know. Which mm. one do you think it is? Alien or alien? Um, I think I just say both sometimes. It's either aliens, aliens, all of that. Hmm. Now, this episode, we're going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> what really brought this up, besides this being both, we, we discovered this week they were both conspiracy nuts. Yes. Totally didn't know that. But when, <laughs> I, try not to, I try not to post about it. I don't want people to think I'm crazy, but... Granted, I totally understand, because we've been doing this for how long, and we literally don't know each other's real name. So, um... <laughs> I'm a very private person. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> right. <laughs> people think my literal middle name is Benny. Definitely not. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> what are going to do? But anyway, and if you think you can find me on Facebook using that, you won't. Um, they sure know. They sure won't. They won't. But uh, yeah, but anyway, conspiracy theories, we love those things. We spend time doing I was listening to a new show today talking about it, about a specific kind of alien called the Anuk. I, I butchered that name because for years I just read about it, but I never heard it said. But we'll get to that in a second. I, aliens I got you. It's the, it's the Anunnaki. Yes. Oh, you know about them? Oh, oh, brother. I did uh, so much see, extensive research about five years ago <laughs> on them. Uh, look, see, see, you the type, take home the mom. I'm just saying. <laughs> if your mom is into weird shit, that's she me. Is. <laughs> she is. <laughs> I'm the one. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, oh, <laughs> we, it's going to be good. Did you burp? Mm-mm. Okay. But anyway, I save that for my videos. <laughs> oh, that's right, right. Check her out on YouTube. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, we're we're a little city, we're a little hype today because we're talking about conspiracy theories. Right. <clears throat> what are aliens, Miss? Well, um, I feel like they think aliens are beings from either outer space. Or those are called like you know um, extraterrestrials, and you got inner terrestrials. I believe where they think could be in the water, you know, under the oceans and the seas and underground, right? Um, mm -hmm. You know, they're from another place. You, I'm gonna talk about the ones in outer space. Let's talk about those. Um, oh, okay. They could be from. I heard of a planet called Nibiru. Have you heard about this? Yes. Yes, I. Mm, planet X, also. Um, and they come in many different shapes and sizes and colors. You got the grays, you got the reptilians, you got the, um, I don't know if I'm saying it right, the Pleiadians, I yes. think. They have, um, I don't want to sound like a weirdo, so I'm not going to name a thousand aliens, but there's so many different races of aliens supposedly out there. Mm -hmm. And so, and the reason you say outer space aliens is because there is a lot of theories saying that we have some on Earth as well, underneath the sea. Right. So, one question I got to ask you: uh, What started you 
on this alien hunt? Well, um, when I was younger, I used to be scared of it, but I also used to watch the X Files. <laughs> See, me too. Go on. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> I met a guy in 2012, right? And he put me on to so much shit in life that I will forever be thankful. And one of the things was not directly aliens, but it was um astrology and stuff and numerology. And through that research and that, we kind of stumbled upon a guy who started talking about aliens and stuff. And then we just went like deep, 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 deep down. And it gets crazy. Like people don't even know if aliens are aliens or if I don't want to piss nobody off. So if anybody is religious. Oh, I was going to get that. I was going to get that. Go on. Sorry. I can explain that. Go on. I just want to say, if you're religious, don't hate me. <laughs> I'm just reporting what different theories are. Aliens could actually be alien beings from somewhere else. Aliens could be angels. Mm, aliens cool. could be demons. This could be our maker. So, religious, you're not trying to hit none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring I'm it just... down for you, girl. I got you. Do because... you, boo-boo. Yes, because this what got me into it. I am like a religious guy. Like, as in, I like to study all religions. I'm one of the only idiots that I know <laughs> that <laughs> that learned how to read. I can't speak it. But read, <laughs> um, I guess, Jewish speak and Israeli, uh, Muslim speak, whatever the langu- language is called to be able to read their <laughs> To read your religious text because I wanted to read it in original translation. Yeah, I'm a nerd, whatever. Um, <laughs> in the reason I'm so fascinated, especially in Middle Eastern part of it, like their stuff, is because they speak about a lot of beings and whatnot. And mm. it's called religious mythology, I think it's what it's called, where they do talk about things that seem otherworldly. And what's crazy is a lot of religions have the same beings, but they tell different stories about these same beings. Like when mm-hmm. you said, the, that's a big one. Yeah, like we said, the angel, whatnot. A lot of people don't realize it's in actual, like, you know, Jewish and Muslim, like, stuff. They do reference that, oh, even across the world, they reference that somebody that wasn't human taught them how to make certain things. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just, that ain't even like an alternate history. That's just, like, um, that's just history, history. Like, they looked up, like, yeah, this being taught me how to do this. And some religions said, like, you know, Greek and whatnot said, yeah. It was gods. and uh, That's crazy. Yeah, they said some be- Like, the crazy thing is, like, steel, for example. Steel is not a normal thing that occurs in nature. Like, you don't just find steel laying around. You have to make it. Where did and- it come from? Exactly. And they, they literally talk about it. Different places across, across the world said, yeah, some being showed up, taught us how to make steel. And when you say religion, in, like, some forms of Jewish texts, Muslim texts, and Christian texts, they say, yeah, these beings, the Nephilim, Nephilim, or Fallen Angels, whatever. Nephilim? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They showed up, and they were like, hey, this is how you make this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're going to do, brother. And what we're talking about, the Anuk, I cannot pronounce it. I'm just going to let you pronounce it. Um, Anunnaki? <laughs> Anunnaki, yeah. With them, it was interesting, because I was listening to a show earlier about them, and they do talk about people in the olden times said that, you know, they taught them how to view and navigate the stars. And we actually have, I think it was two or three years ago, we found an actual device that was able to calculate the movement of the stars. And it still works, meaning you can still use it to calculate the stars' movement to this day. And that's so crazy, right? We, we're smart people, but I don't think we can do that by ourselves. That's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's crazy because... Um, I was never really religious, but I always believed in, you know, I believed what they told us, basically, to believe, right? Until, you know, I did my own research, and let's just say I have my own thoughts and opinions now, but when I read about... I think I figured it out. Okay. (laughs) When I read about the the theory of the Anunnaki, I was like, man, that's really not that far-fetched. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, you have, like you said, so many different cultures from the past spoke about some type of being coming to show them something. You know what I'm saying? So you got the ancient Egypt, the Egyptians, the Sumerians, you have the Christians, you know what I'm saying? Like they all have their version of Jesus, mm-hmm. you know? 
And it's like the Egyptian version was way before Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then it's like if you start digging into the Egyptian culture, um, one of their their first pharaoh, not first pharaoh, but one of their pharaohs, I forgot his name. I, I'm so sorry that I don't know his name, but in Egypt, and they were saying that he was part alien because he was like almost like basically a giant. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to have to do a whole nother segment because it, it gets crazy. But he basically was a giant and they calculated, um, I forgot how many feet tall he was, you know, but it's like he was part alien. And then it's like, all right. And all those pyramids and stuff, you think humans really built that? Right. Especially across the world. Cause we have proof that all over the world. All over the world. It, they, I read that there's one, or not just one, but there's a few underwater. Yes. I don't know how real those articles were but i don't i can't just dismiss that well i know for a fact and the thing is we had to have some sort of communication because the way they looked at it, they said those those pyramids were there's theory that they were forms of communication mm -hmm. like, like our old school radio thing because we do have absolute proof that they had old school batteries that like how we have batteries they had old mm -hmm. school so yeah electricity is totally not a thing that we found out like for the first time 100 years ago a couple hundred years ago yeah, of course not. Forever. <laughs> and and uh, the the pyramids are also like a a huge source of energy, you know. And um, the ones in Egypt are lined up with the three main stars in the sky. Mm -hmm. It's like so much shit. They was talking about um, I saw a video where it was like the pyramids, just the the actual measurements of it. Mm -hmm. If you multiply that by a certain number, you would get the something something of the earth and the something something of the sky, like. Just yep. everything with those structures are super mathematical and it's like a universal mathematical thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I can't say that humans, uh, that a hundred percent pure human was capable of doing that back then. I think they definitely had some help from something else. Let me hit you with this. I got two points to make. I got you. <laughs> <With> it. <laughs> Number one. No, I absolutely believe that because even because I know the biggest critics of it are going to be uh, like, don't get twisted. It's going to be heck of religious people and a hardcore reader of, you know, different religious texts and ideology and whatnot. I can tell you right now, it doesn't not align with with a lot of these texts like in, for example, the Christian Jewish. I'm going to call it the Abrahamic faiths because they all have the same Old Testament. Essentially. Okay. Uh, they do speak to beings that taught them certain things. And I'm glad you touched on you touched on some of those things. These beings taught them how they taught them medicine, uh, different mathematics, weaponry, and like you said earlier, astrology. Mm -hmm. So they taught them how the stars work. So it does line up perfectly. Even their own religious text says, hey, yeah, something that's not on Earth showed up and was like, hey, here's some stuff. Uh, <laughs> basically, let me break it down for you. Because a lot of people don't, they don't know this because when people read, and I'm not knocking people, when people read, they read for hot points, not for context. Right. In, I do believe, me personally, I do believe that uh, there's a theory that's called, uh, same thing, different name. <laughs> Goodness. And I think that's the same thing. Because in, like, uh, a lot of these religious texts, they do say, they break down heaven, right? Mm-hmm. There are three heavens, and a lot of people don't know this. Uh, and essentially, there's heaven, like the clouds and stuff, whatever. Uh, these religious texts themselves refer to outer space. Everything that's not where the big man upstairs, whatever sits, is called heaven, too. So stars, sun, all that stuff is called heaven, too. Okay. And in these religious texts, they do say that, you know, fallen angels and just regular angels that work in, you know, in our world or whatever exist in heaven, too. That's not me just making up stuff. They literally say, hey, because when when uh, in the religious text, uh, the evil being, whatever you describe the evil being is, got kicked out of heaven three. That's where, you know, the big man sits or big woman, big entity, whatever. Um, <laughs> when they got kicked out, they were barred from that level of heaven. And they were moved on the <laughs> other side of something called the ferment. The ferment is what separates third heaven from all the rest of it. Side note. Huh? Side note. I said side note. That's that's a whole nother episode too. The, the firmament. <laughs> yes, and we oh, it's gonna be good. Um, 
and so essentially, if you think that aliens are a real thing, like how does that go with my religious stuff? And you ascribe to one of these three Abraham religions. Well, um, according to those religious texts, they could be the exact same thing with no conflict. <laughs> what what <laughs> one person calls aliens, one person calls um, angels, it's essentially the same thing. And then, mm-hmm. like, my friend said, what about the aliens that I've heard about that, like, hurt people, eat people and stuff? I was like, so, like, good alien, good angels and bad angels? It's like, it's, it's totally right. a thing. <laughs> right. It's totally a thing. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's totally. So, it's like, it's, some people don't like to believe this stuff because they feel like it's a contradiction of what they believe. But, it, but honestly, it's really not <laughs> because, look, when it comes to religion, people, and I'm going to stop on my religion, man, but, but I'm weird. Um, <laughs> when it comes to religion, religion and religion and conspiracy theories answer different questions, but people confuse those questions. Hmm. My old friend used to say this, and I love this quote. Um, it was science, religion, religion answers the uh, no science answers the how, religion answers the why. But people, and people like to get those things switched up. Nah, you can you can believe that the sky is purple. And that's perfectly fine. It doesn't change anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, maybe, look, because the thing is, people, uh, like, the reason we like conspiracy theories is until we reach the bottom of the ocean, I don't want to hear nothing about what you know exists in outer space. Mm -hmm. Look, it's just, it's, it's cool to speculate, and there is a lot of evidence, but people don't want to understand this evidence, but I'm, I'm getting off my high horse, uh, getting off my stage, go ahead, Miss Rain, hit us with (laughs) Yeah, no, just to go by what you said, um, yeah, it's very cool to speculate. And like you said, the evidence, it's a lot, it's a lot of it out there. Like I've watched, I don't even know how many hours of videos, read how many freaking pages of text, like so it's so many things out there where you can be like, how can someone say that there there are no aliens at all with all the evidence that's out there? You know, like how can you be that close minded? It it drives me crazy. <laughs> so <laughs> Like it really does because it's like if you just listen to people who actually feel like they've been abducted or someone who might have seen and when it's not just one person if there was a group you know no group wit- witnessed this man get pulled up by a beam of light and you trying to tell me all of them made this up and these grown ass men <laughs> I don't think right. grown ass men that's coming from some damn hunting trip is gonna make this up their friend was missing for five days he came back with a beard and he didn't know right and we had. And we've had like whole military people, like generals and astronauts and somebody that'd be like, Hey, there's a lot more than what you know is going on. Right. No, no. And even I don't think people know this, like a lot of people don't know this, but with the government there's a law that's like the freedom of something, freedom of information or something like that. After a set amount of years, be it fifty or seventy five, I can't remember which number, uh, and sometimes they just release it, declassified information. Yes. In 2013, I believe, the, the government was like, finally, like, okay, guys, Area 51 does exist. It's been long enough. It's totally years. Real. We're not going to tell you what's in it, but it is real. And that was so cheap. Like, we, we already knew it was real. Could you tell us what happens there? Oh, okay, no, thank you. <laughs> and, exactly. like, that's how they keep this. and there's been plenty of people to say, like, like high-ranking military people who says, no, yeah, there's totally something. Why do you think we went to the moon? I didn't think we the moon, and I totally get that. I understand that. But let's just say for a second we did go to the moon. Why didn't we go back? <laughs> Never went back. <laughs> Never, went, Never back. went back. Either we didn't go, or we weren't welcome. <laughs> right. I got a whole theory behind that. I'm going to say, I'm not even going to get too crazy into it, because I don't want nobody thinking I'm crazy. But I'm going to say, I think they went, but the footage that we seen was all bullshit. And I think that's because when they went, they found out some shit and they was not welcome there. And not only that, um, I forgot what year it was, but they was like, the government started shooting missiles straight up into the sky. No mm-hmm. reason. No, they told, they ain't told nobody why, what happened, just mad missiles up and up and up and never, never explained it. What is that about? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. And like, it, there's a term for that. It's called a blick. A blick is where somebody, no matter what evidence you give someone, they just not hearing it. And that's cool. You know, I just can't waste my breath on those type of people. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't do it. Like, 
I'm glad you get me because look, if you offer me enough evidence, I'm gonna at least think about it. Like you know, hmm, hmm. Because in all my conspiracy hunting, I never thought about that honestly. Where it's like we actually went to the moon, but what if the thing, what if the video we saw wasn't real? Right. Hmm. That's what I. And like we've we've heard records of like other countries that have gone in outer space, and like yeah. Yeah, it's some weird stuff going up there. <laughs> right. It's like people got to ask themselves, how, how, why did you never go back? Especially with the way technology is now and you can't make it happen again. You can't tell me you don't want to because people want to colonize everything and state claim on everything. But y'all never chose to go back. Y- y- y'all ain't want no updated footage for your Facebook page. Like, shut up. <laughs> no. right. my, my biggest trip is why we going to Mars? Like, it, we, we done with the but, moon. We done. We just nope. We ain't, we we good. We went there one time. That was it. I I honestly and I may sound nuts. We're gonna have to stop saying we're crazy on this thing. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I may sound a little bit off, but I honestly believe that the moon itself, like we, like what we said, the moon, something's up with the moon. I I think it's a hollow moon. I think there's something that we ain't seen that's because when we got there, like I remember hearing reports or like reading reports or listening to something where like. They got there and they were being watched and they didn't know how to respond. And like there was like a video, he's like, uh, he's like, hey Houston, um, so there's something here. He like switch switch the radio silence and then talk to us. I was like, why would <laughs> why would you switch the radio? What was what what did he see? <laughs> right, what was that about? Like <laughs> aliens probably looking him dead in his face, like do something. Because I because every time I've heard stories about like alien interactions, it's always like a normal dude gets put into not a normal dude. They're like astronauts and military people. But they get into like weird situations where like whoever was before them is like totally buddy buddy with these aliens, mm-hmm. and like because from what I can gather, the situation is similar to the A people you mentioned earlier because I can't pronounce their name. Um, <laughs> the where A people, where, where they give us technology because in the last hundred years we've gotten leaps and bounds of technology that we just out of nowhere. Yeah, it's crazy the the progression of technology is so crazy. I mean, to me personally, like, look at, we got virtual reality stuff. We got, uh, even higher than virtual reality, it's like, we had this, I know it's in video games now, but, like, I don't know if you've seen it, but, like, the new Wii system, the remotes, they simulate touch. Mm. You can hold it, and you can feel, like, when you, like, uh, they had a game where you had put, like, a ball in a box, and when you shift mm-hmm. it, the box, you can actually feel a ball in the thing moving. That's cool. And, like, I know that's simple, but that's, like, if you think about what it takes to make one of those, it's great. Right. And, like, and just these lifelike looking holograms they got out there. It, All I'm saying, can you sign me up for a hologram of our champion? I'll be so <laughs> thankful. You want to see a gender hologram? Just have him sit next to me all day. <laughs> Go ahead and hook me up with a Naomi hologram. Let's right. Go. Like, let's get this going. Like, come on now. Because it's weird. We have a, we, we're at a point where we can actually simulate pretty much a human being without it being a human being. It's, it's insane. It's, and it came from somewhere. Yeah. And how do we, we also learn we can regrow organs and stuff? What, what, where do we learn that? We, we Wolverine right now. Like, <laughs> uh, look. And, grow my limbs back and healing. And some people say, you know, with the whole uh, hieroglyphs and stuff from back in the day in Egypt. They're like, well, maybe they're just disproportionate. When you look back at the holo- uh, the hieroglyphs, you can see everything is the right proportion. Like, everything around mm-hmm. them are the same proportion. But what they're worshiping, like you said earlier, is like 10, 15 feet tall. Right. Huge as hell. And, and even if, and even if uh, they, let's say, you know, even if that's just a one-off, you know, chance, in other cultures and other religions, I'm talking like, the Native American, I'm talking the Chinese, the Japanese, they all have stories of these gigantic things. Yes. That just roam the earth. It, they all they all have stories of this? All of them? Side note, mm-hmm. even in Game of Thrones, however far however many years in the past it's supposed to be, they had um giants back then, but it was only I think like four left. You know? So it's like, yeah. Yeah, and in the in the Dire Wolves, I watched a video yesterday where we had mm. a wolf that was essentially the same size. That's <laughs> huge, man. And they they're like, no, that's they were like these things. They may be a funny name for them, but no, we had those wolves like for real. <laughs> <laughs> that we we had them. <laughs> so something, so something's going on. <laughs> yo, for sure. And 
I have a weird question for you that we spoke okay. about this before we came on. <laughs> <laughs> if you came across some aliens mm -hmm. and an alien lady wanted to get busy with you, what would you do? For science purposes. <laughs> for humanity. For us. For us, Hazen. <laughs> for, you know. For the people. For the people. Do it for the culture. Anyway. Right. Um, because, no, because the thing is, look, how I know she, how I know she an alien? Does she just, like, appear? Like, okay, wait, let me phrase something. She looks like a human, just so y'all know. It's just not, it's not a giant tentacle monster. They look. Right. <laughs> This dude said a giant tentacle monster. <laughs> like, my only hang-up is they're either going to be the best I've ever had or the worst. Right. There's no in-between. <laughs> like, they, they, probably, they either don't know nothing about you. They probably don't know. It's probably going to be bad, honestly, thinking about it. Right. Like, so I, to rock her world. <laughs> like, I'm going to do everything. That's... <laughs> and then again, it might not even be a her. It might be just like an it thing. Like, right, it might not. It might not have no gender, but it can get pregnant. You feel me? Whoa! <laughs> would you wrap it up? Would you wrap it up for an alien? Like, hey, would you give an alien a condom? Like, has this what? Like, well, see, that's that's a weird question because I mean, if the alien wants to do it, it has to be a reason. Like, maybe they want to create an alien human hybrid, and they're like, "Yo, you and your DNA, we need you. What you gonna do?" Now, hey, that's a hey, that's a kickback because remember. In the old religious texts, the 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 angels, whatever or beings, aliens came down. Totally had a ton of sex with everything. They did. <laughs> Dude, no, if you look at those texts and stuff like that, they had. What I mean, everything. I mean everything. Like all the Greek animals and stuff like that was literally just them coming down and have sex with animals. Just. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so would they have like space herpes? Like how does it work? Like. I would think that they might be immune to a lot of things, but who knows? But would we be immune to it? That's the kicker. <laughs> That is the big question. I don't know. Because, like, I don't want to, like, get space herpes and turn purple. Right. <laughs> like, I'll be sitting in line with you. I'll be standing in line with you, and you're purple, I'm purple. We got a whole lot of questions to answer. I'm like, they got you too, huh? <laughs> That's crazy funny. Oh, man. So, in conclusion, <laughs> do you believe or do you not? I 100% believe that there are aliens out there. Um, I don't know what they are. I can't say what they are, what their origins, where they came from. But I do believe there are other things out there besides humans. Because how can there not be? How many planets are there? How many stars in the galaxy? And it's just us? Right. I doubt that. I doubt that so much. Look, I, I do too. Because, like, come on. That's not, no. Come on. Just us? That's boring. Right. And Teddy, that's like scientifically like impossible. It's also Right. It's just like, I mean, you can't be that delusional to think well, humans are the only species in the whole entire galaxy in the universe. Just us on this one planet. This one planet. This one? Just one? Just one. <laughs> ah, son, we're not that special. Right. As long <laughs> as they are peaceful, then hey. Ooh, what if they ain't peaceful? That would suck. That would suck. Big hairy balls. That was really descriptive. <laughs> to answer the same question, because he didn't answer if a big old sexy alien came down and was like, hey, girl, I got two dicks. What's up? Whoa! <laughs> Why me too? <laughs> he don't know how it works. He sees <laughs> he sees two places to put them. He don't know how this works. Listen, he better make sure one of them is not in use because we're not about, <laughs> we're not filling up all of those holes. Um, if if they needed me to help keep their race alive, oh my god, <laughs> right? And he came down and he was an attractive alien man thing, and or maybe he's a shapeshifter. I'm like, you gotta shift, you just shift your shape real quick, you know? Show him a picture of Roman, and then he could just transform. <laughs> Show me your chick snake. <laughs> I'm down. I mean, it's for me. It's for me to help their race. How could I say no to a race? You can't do it. I just want to let you know, baby. <laughs> we full of shit. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am running so far, so fast. 
<laughs> right. That mother- we get mad. We get thrown off when someone comes in with a new hair color. Right. I'm mm-hmm. like, <laughs> you a whole alien. <laughs> He shows up not wearing any clothes. Mm-mm. Hold up. And then they probably don't even talk with their mouth. They probably going to send this directly to my head. I'm like, first of all, who's talking? Why didn't your mouth move? Why don't you have a mouth? Nope. Mm-mm. I'm probably going to pass out. Real talk, if I seen an alien, I don't think I, I could function. I would just be like, oh, that's it. Hitting the floor. <laughs> like, <laughs> Bam. What happened? <laughs> Somebody wake me up when they leave, cause <laughs> it duck people because they already know people are gonna pass out. Right. I don't know, and it's funny. I had this conversation with one of my friends. I was like, "Listen, if you saw an alien one night, what would you do?" And he was like, "I, I don't, I don't know what I would do." And it's, it's a real, it's a real answer. You honestly don't know what you would do, but I think if I saw an alien in the daytime, just like walking down the street, I'm a freeze. And I'm going to be like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know? Right. And I'm going to run the other way if my legs can move. Because you don't know how scared you might be. You really might be frozen from fear. Like, it's- have, you ever, have you ever been that fr- that's fr- afraid? Um, One time, I was in high school. And me and my friend, we used to always walk to the park mm. at night, right? Mm. Like, it would be like 1, 2 in the morning. Mm. And we were dumb, dumb little kids. And one night we was walking. The park was like eight blocks away. I lived in the hood back then, right? Mm-hmm. Walking, walking. We saw a car behind us. We were like, all right, let's get on the sidewalk because just in case. This car sped up, pulled up on the sidewalk. When I say we screamed and grabbed each other and did not move, I was scared out of my mind. But it was our friends being assholes. You might have get straight up abducted, <laughs> straight up kidnapped, and we 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 couldn't move. Like that's why I said you don't you think you would run and throw a drop kick? No, <laughs> no. you I might just you. freeze up. I feel you, but like it, it just depends. What we do like I remember once where like this big dog got loose, right? And it was mm. my friend, and I know I know what I would do. I'm just telling you right now, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Whenever I've been afraid and other people around, I try to protect them like a dummy. Oh, that's sweet. And I was like, I said, run. And I was going to wait until she had run. I turn around, she been gone. <laughs> Dude said she been gone. Like, I'm talking a puff of smoke. She has been gone. Damn. She didn't say nothing. She didn't do nothing. So, like, from that on, I told her, uh, I said, this is the protocol now. If something goes down, we just start running. Because yeah, I just run. Because she just, she's like, I was going to trip you if you were ahead of me. <laughs> oh, she, she is the worst. What? She was like, look, you're faster than me. It's, you'll catch up. What? Oh, my goodness. Listen, she's about to sacrifice you to Cujo. That's crazy. <laughs> right. I'm going to end up in Jumanji. Like, I'm going to wake up with <laughs> What happened? That's a shame. So I'm going to roll some dice for me to come out. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask the viewers if if you was walking in daytime and an alien just turned the corner, how do you think you would react honestly? And then write us and tell us your reaction. Oh yes, yes, please. And if you believe in aliens or not, and why? Ooh, I like that because we do definitely. That had to be good. I like that. And then we can maybe read the best ones on next week's episode. Ooh. This is gonna be nice. <laughs> Got my high pitched voice on that one. I heard. I was like, oh, okay. And then I get hit that okay. note. And of course, we'll be here next week unless we get abducted. And then, like, you already know what happened, you know, the shovel penis thing. And- no, not no. <laughs> just <laughs> no. Really, you really think I too tight about that one? You're just like, no. That's, no, like, not only are you an alien, you, you coming at me with two? <laughs> that's too much. I had a comment. I'm keeping it to myself. That's going to be <laughs> confidential. <laughs> Classified files. No. <laughs> but uh, give us our sweet outro, Miss Haven. All right. All right, everybody. You can find me. Are we doing You Can Find Me? Is that what we're doing? Yep. That, yeah. Yes. You can find me on YouTube at Haven Rain. R E Y. Nope. That ain't Haven. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> just find me at Rain. I just dropped my first name. WWE hired me, so you got to lose one of your names. <laughs> right? which, which one you pick? You going to keep Haven or Rain? So the way I started spelling, I guess I kept Rain. But no, <laughs> you can find me at H A E V Y N R E Y H N E on YouTube, um, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Just put an underscore in between Haven and Rain. And that should be me. Bright ass hair, pink and orange. Yep. Can't miss it. Yep. Uh, just so y'all know, I know I spell her name a whole lot better than I do mine. How? <laughs> No, I was at work and like someone asked me to spell my name and I started spelling and they were like, Is that how you spell your name? I was like, what you, <laughs> That is not how I spell my name. Wow. <laughs> and that was even worse. My my supervisor was like, Spell your name for me. Spell, me, spell your name for me, son. I was like, H A E. He looked at me like I was. <gasps> <laughs> I was like, that is son. hilarious. I was like, Sir, I do a podcast. He's like, hey, Your name is that on there? No. no. Right. <laughs> Sorry, wait, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, here's today. Here's today. Look, sir, first I'm a grown man. Second. <laughs> but, um, oh, uh, also, you know, you can find the show. Uh, I hate this part. You can find this show <laughs> on Twitter at Comic John or Facebook on the same name at Comic John. You can find us if you want to listen on SoundCloud. You can find us on Ooh, man, I'm just, I'm tired, yo. Or you can find us on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and TuneIn Radio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah. Oh, later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs>